The winter of 2014 is shaping up to be one we will all remember. As ice and snow continue to cause power outages in parts of town, EBTV hit the road to find out how residents and the town are dealing with the storms. Yeah, the storm has caused widespread outages throughout the township. Uh, recommendation to the residents is contact your power company, uh, JCP&L or PSE&G, so they're aware that your account is associated with the outage. They have a command center that they link each account to the outage. They can make sure you get restored as quick as possible. Working closely with the power companies to get restoration back quickly. But with the weather conditions, with the ice on the trees and the snow and whatnot, it's taking longer because of, um, as we're standing here, I believe we just had a tree fall down behind us. Um, these things are happening, trying to make it safe for uh, the, the workers to get the work done. Our workers are out here. They've been working literally for about the past three weeks nonstop with all those storms we've been having. Um, just please have some patience. Uh, for this winter. Um, the Groundhog made a prediction a couple days ago and, and we're dealing with it. So we're working hard. Uh, we have contractors in, we have our own personnel in uh, and um, just bear with us. Clean your uh, fire hydrant that's uh, in front of your house or closest to your house. That'll help our responders uh, in the event we have an emergency. They can get to the hydrant quickly and um, just you know take your time and before you know it, we have Crystal Springs going down the slide. All right Dylan, so you got another snow day off of school. Uh, what are you doing out here today? Plowing all the, uh, the slushy snow. No sleigh riding? No, it's so loose. Uh, did you have any damage uh, to your uh, property? Just lost some tree branches, a little bit of damage to our fence, and uh, we're just cleaning it up. How about the uh, the streets? Has the uh, town done a, a decent job plowing? Um, the main roads seem pretty good. I mean, it's, it's going to be expected after a storm like this. Everybody's out working hard, and, you know, people just have to make the best of it. And what do you think that uh, news is talking about possibly another one coming Sunday? <laughs> Just what we need, you know, feast or famine. You know, it seems like we're getting nailed this year, then the next year we'll probably uh, won't have any snow. So it just it moves in cycles. All right, Dylan, we don't want to keep you from your work, so we want to get back to plowing? Of course. All right, Kevin, one of many storms this year. What are you doing here for the town? Uh, we're opening the streets up, all the trees that are blocking the road. We're coming out here and getting them out of the road, chipping them up. Uh, um, because of the last storm, all the snow was on the trees, and then you get the rain on top of that, it turns to ice. It's just too heavy for the branches to hold. You have a lot of tree limbs coming down? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've been nonstop since this storm started pretty much this morning. Now, do you hear anything about this next storm coming on Sunday? <laughs> uh, we're, uh, we're hoping it's as bad as they say. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps us busy. It's good for business. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But I called Linda at the waste disposal group and she said she would get in touch with whoever else is involved because we had a tree down there completely blocking the street. She took care of getting through to somebody and I, I gotta tell you they were here within maybe a couple of hours. They're the best. They cleaned up everything. We had the same problem two or three years ago. They, they almost swept the streets to clean everything up. So East Brunswick is a great town. And I would like everybody to know it. I'm really proud of everybody who works for it. Anything residents can do uh, to help, you know, either save their trees or, or prevent, you know, limbs from breaking? Um, proper management before the storms. Uh, proper pruning, getting some of the weight off. Uh, really, you got, at this point, there's nothing to go back and do. But from here on out, take care of your trees. Yeah, clearly you want to do this preparedness level at all times is trim back your trees from your uh, line going from the street into your house. Um, be prepared with a generator, battery uh, for radio, um, some clothing, uh, blankets, because it gets quite cold now. When we, we used to power outages in the summer, but in the winter, um, just keep yourself prepared. And uh, ready.gov is a great website to go, give you great tips, short little list on what, what you can put together. And um, patience, clear your sidewalk, clear the storm drain in front of your house, and a fire hydrant, and uh, we'll be fine. We'll get through this. What are some of the other ways people can get information? Uh, obviously through EBTV is great. Uh, we have uh, three Twitter accounts within the township. Uh, you can follow myself, Austin Kosick. You can follow the mayor, uh, David Stahl, and you can follow our police chief, uh, Bill Krause, on Twitter. Uh, there's also a service that we have, it's called Nixel. Sign up for Nixel, you receive alerts from the police department that go to your uh, web address or your uh, text messaging. And uh, obviously we have our reverse uh, phone system that we call residents. When there's an issue, you can always come and sign up for that. And those are our alert and warning uh, avenues to get to. And if somebody does have a real emergency, what should they do? 911, give it a call. You'll be answered quickly. You'll get a response here quickly. Um, there's more to come. 
This is just the beginning of uh, our winter, it seems. Uh, there are some other storms that we're looking at to show up uh, you know, in the next few days. So uh, we're on it, and just please uh, be patient and uh, be safe.